the beginning of the universe. The Māori Gods, Book 1. There was a time when Ranginui and Papatuanuku were one. They were joined and lay in an embrace so that there was very little light, growth, movement or comprehension. The world was shrouded in obscurity. They had many children. All of them were men. All were gods. Uru Te Ngangana became architect of the heavens and keeper of the celestial bodies and constellations. Tafiri Matea went skyward. From him come the severe winds. Tangaroa took to the sea along with all of the marine life. Rongo Marairoa is mediator and peacemaker. He resides under shelter. Tu Mataruenga is the century of war. He resides in open spaces. There was Tane, protector of plant life, birds and inhabitants of the forest. He is also progenitor of man. Homia remained on the land. From him come wild and uncultivated foods of the forest. Ruomoko is the youngest. He lives in the embrace of Earth Mother. When the earth trembles, it is him sobbing to himself. These are just a few of Ranginui and Papatuanuku's sons. The parents remained unified in their close embrace of matrimony, as if it would be forever. Long before each of the brothers became guardian of their own domain, disquiet set in amongst them. Not all of them were content with their existence or living conditions. They began talking at length about the conditions they lived in and what possibilities there might be beyond the compound that was their mother and father's embrace. Many more lengthy and testy discussions were had before the siblings resolved to have Ranginui and Papatuanuku separated so that they could explore what lay beyond. While the decision was not a unanimous one, it was Tane who was elected to do the deed. Not long after Tane had forced Ranginui to the heavens, resentment and remorse set in amongst the godsons. Some of them said it was a mistake to have parted the parents, while others expressed they were more than pleased with their new life. This is how ensuing rage originated through Fido at Marainui. It resulted in the battle of the godsons of Ranginui and Papatuanuku at Te Pairangi. But that's another story. Some people have different versions to this, but they all add to the fabric of the story of man. May all that is above be bound. May all that is below be bound. May all be bound to humankind. So there is an eternal sense of dark and light. Let there be life. This is a story taken from the Hokianga. The source of the account was Haki Sarich, father of Andy Sarich.